Well, this week is National Nurses Week, and the country is facing a looming crisis. Simply put, America doesn't have enough nurses. Now, let me put this into some perspective. By the year 2031, the country is expected to add about 195,000 nurses. But in that same time period, there are expected to be more than 200,000 openings every year. But there are solutions in the works. Last year, I brought you a story about a Detroit nurse on a mission to expose Detroit students to careers in health care. Well, now I'm checking back in with Nurse T, kid using her program to get a jump start in higher education, and a participant we met last year to see if that early exposure is making a difference in the college classroom. At Renaissance High School, the students in the CNA program are learning to handle pressure, in this case, blood pressure. The program is wrapping up year two, and the students are making their mark. Founder, nurse, and educator Tabira Alexander says she's thrilled with the path of the program and the students. I'm so thrilled to be here my second year teaching the CNA class, and just to see their success, to hear their stories. Those stories come from former students like Anaya Lewis, who we met last year as a high school senior and just before she started at the University of Michigan. My first year was amazing. In part because of her experience with Nurse T CNA program at Renaissance, which opened a world of hands-on experience. A hospital or a nursing home, whatever you choose, and you can make a lot more connections, really get that experience. And that's the goal of the Excelling CNA program, to help high school students get an early look at careers in healthcare and to aid them on their journey, be it nursing, veterinary care, or medicine. Like Anaya Harris, who's heading to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor in the fall. I'll be majoring in biology, um, yeah, on my pre-med track to become a doctor. She says the camaraderie with the other students in the program has helped her be the best she can be. It really brought out the best, best of me because of the group of people I was in, and I learned a lot. So it kind of creates that nurturing environment where it's easy for everybody to grow. That was Nadia Whitney. She and both Anayas can continue supporting each other in Ann Arbor in the fall. But fellow excelling CNA participant Michaela Blackwell, who we also met last year, is going a different direction. I'm going to Wayne State University and I got into the direct admission program and it's only 15 of us out of 5,000 applicants that apply. Wow. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel very accomplished, and I would just like to thank Nurse T for helping me believe in myself. A Renaissance High grad herself, Nurse T has big hopes for the program that extend far beyond the halls of her alma mater. I hope to one day have this program in every Detroit public school so we can actually expose these children starting from five years old, high school on. And if you're saying, hey, five years old, that's young. Think about it. Kids are already seeing doctors and nurses at the pediatrician's office, but they may not see themselves in those roles. So exposing kids to careers in healthcare at an early age can transform how they see themselves today and in the future. And I have to say that it was a thrill to follow up with Anaya Lewis and Michaela to see their success and to meet the other young students on that wonderful career path. It was a real joy. Some smart cookies right there. Oh, without a doubt. She said 15 out of 5,000. Yeah, that was my response. Wow, was like, Absolutely genuine. I was like, that's amazing. For yeah, sure. There's a lot of excellence there in that, that story. Yeah, we appreciate it for sure. Uh, you know